I often get asked, what is inside these Magic Kingdom speakers that make them so unique and special? Well, I'm going to show you. First of all, some uh, background on this. This is a <clears throat> Fulcrum Acoustic speaker. It is omnidirectional, which means uh, if I turn it, has four speakers on every side, or two speakers on every side. And um, it projects in a 360 degree pattern. Each speaker is about, I want to say, five and a half inches across. And it's a two way system. The entire speaker is about 1500 watts and is capable of outputting 126 decibels at one meter. So let's get inside and see what we can find. All right, I have the grill unscrewed. And now I'm going to take it off, if I, uh, if I can, oh no, it was just stuck on by a little, uh, little adhesive inside of the grill, it's a, is it stamped, yeah, stamped grill, very sturdy, can't bend it by hand, because of it's, uh, curved, because it, it is curved, curved. And now we see the two drivers and a base hole, base port. The cabinet is uh, made of uh, birch plywood, Baltic birch. And as we can look inside of the driver, you see the tweeter. Uh, we can see the tweeter. Those two little dots are cork material to hold this horn assembly into the speaker which doesn't require any screws or anything. You just use friction to hold the, the horn assembly on. I uh, got the top driver out and it's still wired in, but just upon further inspection, these drivers are freaking holly quality. You could tell. All right, so I got the top uh, driver out and uh, judging by the build quality of it, it's a uh, coaxial made by a uh, B and C, I believe. Here, let's focus it. Ooh. Yes, B and C speakers. Made in Italy. Go figure. And um, this particular speaker surprised me at first because it looked really small. But upon further inspection of the magnet, it is made of neodymium, which uh, makes everything stick to it. I mean, these things, the, the magnets on them, are really really powerful and they're lightweight which is good because you can have put a lot more power into these things without them <clears throat> without them blowing and without them being very heavy it's a cast frame and I believe these drivers are weather treated as well there's a inside of here Let's see if you can get a better shot of that you can't really see it too well but inside there is a tweeter high frequency compression driver. Let's focus a little bit on those cork. Yeah, you can see they are made of cork. I'm not going to take it off because I feel like it would be very hard to put back on. So let's get the other let's get the other driver out, the low frequency. Well, quote unquote low frequency. Alright, so I unscrewed the top, the top, the, the low frequency driver. Let's get it out. A little dusty. Wow, this one is really good, nice looking. Try to take these wires out. Oof, that's gonna stick. So here's the low frequency driver. This one does not have a tweeter in the middle. This is just a normal driver, but you can kind of see the uh, magnet inside. Let's slip it over. Yeah, look at, look at the build quality of this one. So let's uh, scroll down. Now scroll down, move down. It's kind of dusty. I believe it has been sitting for quite a long time. I don't think this one was ever used in the park. But as we can see here, oops, upside down. We can see here, B and C speaker, made in Italy. The Italians make a lot of nice speakers. And um, I believe each of these are 
rated at, I don't really know, the entire speaker's 1500. So, I don't know, somebody do the math, just divide it by 8. Well, not 8, because the, pro the uh, mid-high frequency driver probably takes more than uh, the low frequency driver because it has the extra high frequency um, uh, tweeter in the middle. Let's see. These ones have a very delicate uh, dust cap. Kind of, I don't really like doing that because it's a very nice driver. These don't very, move very much. Not designed for high excursion, bassy types of uh, music. But look at that magnet right there. You look at that and you think, wow, what a fantastic piece of engineering. Let's see. Well, my, yep. Screwdriver sticks. And I can lift up the entire, oh, I can lift up the entire speaker with the tip of a screwdriver. That's how strong this magnet is. So let's look, take a look inside of the box itself, the, the cabinet. Alright, I switched camcorders, and uh, this one has a light on it. The other camera does not have a light on it. But it is unfortunately standard definition, so I'll try to, uh, try to get as much close-up visuals as I can. So let's take it, let's look inside. We see... We have one, two, three other drivers. These are this is the top of the cabinet. Three other drivers, and we got a whole. What's looking down? Damn, that's dark. Hang on. Let's make it a little brighter for you. There we go. If we look down there. We have the three other high freq uh, low frequency drivers. And a whole mess of wiring. These wires went to the top one, these four ones. Four wires went to the top speaker and these two went to the bottom. And as we see down here, we have the crossover network. Uh, this is passive, full, full range passive. So you only have one wire connector lead. Sorry, those wires are kind of a bit damaged. And uh, it is not biamped. If you look down there, let's take a look at that capacitor. What does that say? Earth's four microfarads at 250 volts. Wow. This is 100% American made, except for, of course, the drivers, which are made in Italy. But, um,. Fulcrum Acoustic is well known in the pro audio industry for making some of the best and most expensive uh, pro audio speakers available. And I got one, specially designed for the Magic Kingdom in Florida. The company was started by the, um, the co-founder of Eastern Acoustic Works, which designed the previous speakers for the Magic Kingdom and Disneyland in California. And I believe their manufacturing facility is, r like, right next door to EAW's. I believe they rented out a building from EAW to start manufacturing. Yeah, this is a, this is a really nice cabinet. And uh, all the screws, they're all equal to each other. So the screw, same screws that hold in the grill are the same screws that uh, hold in the drivers, except some reason I am missing the screw and the screw. I, oh, this screw. I'm still not sure why. If you look up there, you can see all this uh, acoustic padding. If you look up at the base port, it's just the inside of the cabinet. These speakers are actually designed to be um, put inside of a special enclosure inside of the pole, uh, on to top of a pole. So Yes, the drivers are weather treated, but this thing is not designed to be directly in the sunlight or rain. As we see here, this is the bottom of the speaker. Uh, there's only one cable. Here's the ends, just uh, white and black, not biamped. As we see here, 
This is, oop, this is the model number. MK4, Magic Kingdom. Hint, hint. WR stands for um, weather resistant. And I'm not really sure what the 4 is designed for. Probably 4 sides. And we got some uh, plastic, pseudo plastic rubber feet. And some, I believe they're screw holes or, your, or weather water drain holes in case water gets inside. Doesn't collect on the speaker. Hey everyone, please subscribe to my channel. And if you've already done so, thank you very much.